Okay, so last video we went over how to use Euler's method, and now in this video we're going to do this example. We want to solve this differential equation, it's an initial value problem, uh, using Euler's method with a step size of h equals 0 0.2. So first of all, we need to identify that this here, this here is going to be equal to our t naught, and this guy here is going to be our y naught. Right, this is our given initial conditions. Uh, secondly, we also want to identify uh, the t value is going to be changing throughout the problem. So we said in the last video that t of i is equal to i times the, the step size, or in this case, we will have i times uh, 0 0.2. All right, so all we need to do is we can just start solving. Uh, let's say let's go up to um, y y3. We can, you can keep going with this, uh, but let's solve up to y3. So we will have y1 is going to be equal to y0 plus h times, or we can write it like this, I suppose, f of t0 and y0. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, well, we know what y0 is. y0 is 1 plus h is a constant, it's 0 0.2. And this is going to be times our function evaluated at t0 and y0. So first of all, we'll have 3 minus 2 times t0, which is 0, minus 1 half times y0, which is 1. All right, and so if we, uh, if we go ahead and solve this, put in that extra bracket there, we'll actually find that y1 is equal to 1.5. So maybe let's write this up here. y1 is equal to 1.5. So we've solved that. All right. So um, let's, uh, let's solve y2. So y2 is going to be equal to y1 plus h times our function evaluated at t1 and y1. Okay, so we will have y1 is equal to 1.5 plus h, still 0 0.2, times the, the function now evaluated at t1 and y1. So we have 3 minus 2 times t1. Well, t1 is going to be 1 times 0 0.2. So this will actually be times 0 0.2 as well. Minus 1 half times 1.5, right? This 1.5 is our y1, which we've already calculated up here. So now, when we go and calculate this, punch all of this into your calculator, you should get this is all equal to 1.87. This is our approximation for y2. All right, so there we go. We have y2 is going to be equal to 1.87. This is our approximation of our differential equation. So uh, we said we wanted to go up to y3. We can keep going with this, but y3 we will have, this is equal to y2 plus h times f of t2 y2. Okay, so first of all, y2 is equal to 1.87, 1.87, that's kind of a messy looking 7, plus h stays constant, this is always going to be 0 0.2 times our function evaluated at t2 and y2. So first of all, we still have this constant 3 minus 2 times t2. Now if we have t2, we'll have 2 times 0 0.2. So this is times 0 0.4 minus 1 half times y2. And y2 was 1.87. All right, close that bracket, and when you evaluate this, punch all of this into your calculator, you'll get 2.123. So there we go. Y3 is going to be equal to 2.123. So we could just keep going with this. We're using this, uh, this defined step size that we have, but we can stop there. As you see, it's just very repetitive. So we don't need to keep going. Uh, this is just to show you that you know the iteration and how it works. Uh, so we just want to be always evaluating whatever whatever this function is that's uh, equal to the derivative. All right, I will see you guys in the next video, and we will do one more example with Euler's method.